The biggest yeah. one is when you haven't had anything sweeter than orange juice or yeah, probably anything sweeter than juice in months and months and you have real sugar again. It's like, yeah, this is too much. This is too sweet. This is gross. It's like eating pure frosting. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 you're describing a phenomenon I am not familiar with. Oh, I, really? I am like an alcoholic with sugar. I, I, <laughs> there was an alcoholic came to my high school, and he explained what it's like. He's, you know, oh. you, you haven't had alcohol for a long time, and then, you know, it's but it's your thing. It was your life. It was everything. It was where your happiness came from, and and it's been eighteen months, and you say to yourself, just one. I'll just have one, just to see what's up. And he tastes it, and he gets that comforting happy burn that comes down and he goes oh my old friend you and i together again <laughs> that is me and sugar that is me if you toss an m M&M m at me right now i get that comforting glow well then settles you down like a twix just, <laughs> just yeah. one oreo just one oreo sitting there no. just, just looking uh, or at one you. oreo is just a promise of more to come i'd rather have no oreos have you seen you know, G- Giannis, the the Greek freak, he's an NBA player. You might not know him, but uh, I think he's actually Greek. Anyway, he comes to America, and as a child, he could never afford, he grew up in a really poor place, Oreos. And he tries Oreos and he's like, whoa, this is it. This, this is, this is my new diet. I'm, I'm eating an Oreo based diet. (laughs) And then a month in, uh, he's like, he's like, all right, I've had enough Oreos. They're kind of dry. You know, Oreos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is too much. And and he has a teammate be like, have you ever dipped them in milk? Oh. And he, he's <laughs> like, dip, like, you put them in the milk? And he's like, yeah, you dip them in milk. Oreos Relapsed. are amazing. <laughs> and, and he's like, all right, I'll try it. So he takes his Oreo and he drops it to the bottom of the glass. And they're like, no, 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 you can't do that. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> so he, he fishes it out and he tries it. It, it, you have to see this guy. He's, like it's really emotive in his face. He's like, oh, "Oreos and milk are amazing." Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I've never stopped. I'm an Oreo and milk. Meanwhile, guy. this is a guy who's unaware that America has turned the Oreo into 50 other products now. Yeah, there are cereals. <laughs> there are like spreads. You can take an Oreo frosting that will go right on your toast and eat it for breakfast. Do you want there's Oreo? You? I, there's Oreo everything now, Taylor. Yeah, there's Oreo everything. You He's a- down that aisle more. Oreo Greek tampons. Greek is super cool. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds sounds yes. sweet. Oh, and you could dip them in your tea. This. Oreos. Mm-hmm. An Oreo I'll dip tea. them in anything. Yeah. No. Oreos are, Oreo. Oreos are You know what I don't like, though? Them. The mega stuff Oreo is just too much. That's where you're so... Cream. Wait, wait. How much more is mega <laughs> stuff than double stuff? It's like quadruple stuff, I think. It's way too much. Oh. You know, a younger me would have said... You're so wrong, but the maturity as I age has shown me that those those dry chocolate bits mm. that suck independently, they carry a good bit of that total flavor. And it, you know, I, adulthood is when you realize the chocolate parts of the Oreo have have a function too. Childhood yeah. is is all cream. It's all yeah. the sugar. Yeah, look at this. Whoever oh, made wow. thin should be put in prison. But wait, the if the chocolate parts thin too, then they're so bad. Actually, uh, mega stuff that doesn't look bad because the chocolate part is is wider too. Why do they have something bit. called most stuff that's above mega stuff? It's it's like the because Power diabetes Rangers is now. an epidemic. Kyle. It should be giga stuff or penta stuff. Like what's bigger? Am than I the mega only? Stuff? I would like I would like more cookie and then uh, come on. It goes from megabyte to gigabyte. Just make a giga stuff. Yeah, giga stuff. I the ultra those. cream pie. Zach nailed it. That's the what it should be called. The they they probably pie. just they'll probably sell you a fucking. Like a peanut butter jar of that stuff, the, the, the store, fluff. the fluff, yeah. Because it's really, stuff I can't remember how F. great it is. No, yeah, there's those. their stuff. That's does. trademarked stuff. You can't get that anywhere else. I, they, I was yeah. aware that most stuff has two Fs. I'm, I'm only, yeah. <laughs> my IQ's <laughs> well over seventy. <laughs> there's a, there's probably a little asterisk like that looks like an exclamation point at the end of it that like ties to a claim on the back. That's like, yep. Most stuff is a claim made by the, 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 the Pepsi <laughs> yeah. Corporation, the, the, the subsidiary, the, you know, whoever Pepsi fucking owns. Oil? I don't know. Pepsi owns so many snack. I know Pepsi owns uh, Frito Lay, right? And Frito Lay owns a ton of of different stuff. I'm gonna look it up. I'm curious. Yeah, Pepsi. And what's Coke your favorite? So what's your favorite stuff. Little Debbie? Because nobody likes the raisin cream pies, but they're my favorite. 
Ugh, whatever that is looks ugh. retarded. That is absurd. It is a the most Oreo Oreo cookies and cream. It's already cookies and cream. Yeah, I don't like that. That's it, just taking it's literally cookies and cream. What? You're right. This is spitting in God's face. It's like making a ham sandwich that's filled with a ground up ham sandwich. <laughs> you are yeah. already there. You know, that's how they make Twixes. Dude, the Oreo answer was interesting. Yeah, did you know that the inside of a Twix is made from crushed up irregular Twix? What? Nah. Yeah, the inside of a Twix is made of Twix. It's all caramel ones. No, the the cookie crushed up part. Really? Yeah, like all the ones that aren't right. Because I I watched some video where some guy was like, did you know that Twix are made of Twix? I'm like, now I gotta fucking watch this shit. And so then I, I did and... Dude, that's I, a really complicated him. manufacturing software problem. So hear me <laughs> out. I used to work in this business. If you were to make like a ballpoint pen, right? Imagine an exploded diagram of a ballpoint pen. You're like, all right, for every pen we sell, we need one spring, one mm -hmm. tube of ink, one little clicker thing and a clip thing and a big tube and whatever. All right, cool. If I told you that for every pen, there's like a reciprocal, not rec recursive, like pen inside the pen, you're like, mm -hmm. shit. The ingredients for a pen are infinity. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no end to how many things I need to make pens. How do I solve this? I was on a tech support call, and one of the ingredients in beer somehow was beer. And, it, and I was like, well, I don't know anything about beer, and I don't know how to solve this problem for you. I'm, I'm only 23 you, years old. Where do you think? <laughs> You're like, but wait, where does the beer come from? Did we make it? The store, idiot. Like, it's a like, rough conversation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a sourdough. You get a starter place. beer. <laughs> Oh, do you know some of those uh, starter doughs are hundred over a hundred years old with the yeah. sourdough stuff? Yeah, it looks like some of those perpetual stews. So a perpetual stew, Woody. Some of those have been going for a decade or more. It's a big yeah. cauldron over a heat source, and they have had it boiling with food in it that they have been serving for really? years. Really? Yeah, they just keep adding ingredients, and in. but, yep. and, but it's yeah. never at zero. It's never, not, never even close. Dude, yeah. I looked up who owned Oreo and. So many fucking layers. Hang on. The Oreo is owned by Nabisco, a subsidiary of Mondelez, which is a subsidiary of Cadbury, a well-known British candy maker. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Uh -huh. That's where it stops. So, Oh, okay. Cadbury's but, their own man, eh? That's surprising. The as people far who make as I the know. Easter eggs. I don't know if I've even had... Or no, Cad yeah, you're right. The Easter eggs. I've definitely had one of those. Yeah, that cream Who knows? inside. Cadbury owns Nabisco. You've eaten tons of shit, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I just mean the Cadbury eggs in particular. Those, yeah. those, those cream-filled chocolate eggs. I love those look... things. They're really? amazing. Really? I, I feel like I'm the only one. Turn off. I'm like, how do people not know the cat? They're incredible. I like the cherries, the chocolate-covered cherries that have the cum inside. Mm. Well, is it cum or is it not? I always hoped it was cherries. cum. <laughs> i've never i've never liked chocolate covered cherries too much if i'm I don't don't put fucking fruit in my, in my oh, nonsense. Yeah. i was yeah. really a cherry against you until you said pickled in sugar and you're calling fruit yeah, yeah. there's probably still fucking vitamins in it no there's never any vitamins in cherries we Heaven don't eat forbid. cherries no one eats normal cherries do you know like, like no uh, the only way we eat cherries is when we like pickle them in sugar and and That's turn them true. into a I candy. normal cherries well, as a kid, a normal, I would. You eat all sorts of bizarre things. That latka bread that you eat every day is a weird item that most people lavish bread. Is. What kind of lavish bread? You're right. What kind that of shit is good? I'm confused now. What, when do I eat cherries? Yeah, ja Jackie cuts them up and puts them in my gray Doucet, uh, uh protein oh. French toast. Oh, damn. That, that okay? Well, that sounds pretty fancy, and that's not a dessert. And so fruits fine there. Okay. Does she pit them first, or they come pitted? She pets them. Yeah, it's dangerous business. What if she misses one? Then you eat a little bit of Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? There's a surprise fingertip in there. Yeah. One of my greatest fears is biting down on a pit as hard as I, you know, when you're eating, you, you, you're reckless abandon. Taylor, yeah. you would, it'd be like unmovable object or, or like unstoppable <laughs> object, unmovable force. Taylor bites a pit. He has a <laughs> nuclear fusion happens. In his jaw. <laughs> He's, it, it, that, and that's how he became the nuclear jaw. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah, you can fight crime there. No, I'm so afraid of biting down on a pit and breaking a tooth. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near a pitted fruit. I've broken my no. tooth. Olives. Twice. Olives can't be trusted. 
I've never been a fan of olives. I don't think they bring enough to the table. Don't olives have soft pits? That little red thing? That is not a pit. What is it? It's a um, pimento. Is it put there on purpose? Yeah, it's, they stuff it in there. Seems yeah. like a high effort. Pimentos Super are cocktails. Hmm. I've, um, I've had... I don't uh, eat olives. I don't eat I olives and eat... I don't let Jackie eat olives. It's good. It's good. Why it... don't you let Jackie eat olives? Because Iron she's twist. temporarily repulsive to me after having eaten olives. And that's <laughs> what you're going for. Don't do it. It's I definitely like the olives. least worst pizza topping. Olives. I like it on pizzas. I like it on sandwiches. And I like it in vodka. Um, it's th- That's where it's good. No, it's, I like it's blue it. cheese. I had these blue cheese stuffed olives that are repulsive. They are huge. They're like the size of a goddamn testicle. And they're, <laughs> they're fucking stu- they like split it perfectly. They must have done it by hand. And they pump it full of the most tart blue cheese you've ever mm. had. And then they throw it at whatever that olive juice is, that pickling brine, and then send it to me and i keep those in my fridge and every now and then i'll pop one of those in my mouth when i walk by and they are disgusting why do you keep eating them <laughs> i you paid forget? so much for them that, that uh there's just no goddamn way i'm throwing them away and, and I, <laughs> I make sure that someone sees me every time i eat one so they think i'm fancy and refined wow ah, he, he popping an olive in his mouth one of my blue there they are <laughs> not that brand those look i wouldn't the want Amish Amish buggy brand ones but Honestly, I bet the Amish make best, like really good ones. Yeah, they made those by. They're making those by hand, though. I bet you can yeah. see where they punched out the pit. And I'm I'm surprised that you dislike olives so much, and you. They don't bring anything to pizza. They don't bring I like the enough flavor. I recognize the flavor, and olive paste is really good on sandwiches too. I like. You know what? I think pineapple that. and chicken gets too much hate as a pizza topping. Ugh. No chicken, really? but I'm wet. I'm Chicken's so I, I can't. I can't under, I can't control the quality and the texture of the chicken meat. True. It's never good. It, that's the problem there. That's why I'm against it. If it were good, like white meat shredded chicken with buffalo sauce, that sounds amazing. But it never really is. So, but pineapple on the other hand, that comes out of a can. It, it's always good. So I like pineapple and jalapeno and pepperoni on my pizza. That's how I order pizza. Really? Yeah. A little yeah. pineapple adds some zest. It adds some sweet. It adds a little tangle tang. It's a it's it's a good addition. I like That's, pineapple. I've never been yeah. more sure that I'm in the majority opinion of, of you got the spicy, the, the sweet, so... the salty. It's good. Pineapple is wonderful. Minority. Pineapple is delicious on its own, but it doesn't belong on pizza. The it, it lower the temperature of a wet, moist piece of pineapple does not return to room temperature at the same rate of every other bit of the pizza. So you have colder than the rest of the pizza pineapple. Wet oh no, it's higher. It's hot when I bite like like the pineapple. Like I can I can tell that when the pineapple juice instantly like, you eat my it, mouth, yeah. it's hot. What's it like four minutes later? As it well, cools faster than the pepperoni, then the are sauce you sure it cools faster. Bag. I think I'm it has more juice. thermal capacity. I, I think it cools slower. That you can eat a cold pizza and the pineapple still is like a boiling inside. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, think so. it's too hot. You know, I think you lack the pineapple experience. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Usually usually I've got to cool that pineapple off when it hits too much. (laughs) Say, whoa, whoa, honey, don't bite it. That's There's pineapple on there. You know how hot that stays. (laughs) You know what does that for real? Hours at a time. It's like a thermos. (laughs) Jackie makes meals for me and they have um, cherry tomatoes. You cook a cherry tomato, that thing is burning hot when the rest of the meal has cooled off. It's just a time bomb waiting for you to to bite and explode its mouth roof of your mouth burning juices i I love eating cherry tomatoes it reminds me of that scene in return (laughs) of the king when denethor is eating little tomatoes (laughs) on his on his pewter plate as obviously faramir is riding back towards osgiliath trying to seize it from gothmog the lieutenant of uh, i don't know any of this (laughs) harry potter you know sauron's armies yeah sauron's armies at at the behest of the witch king he's at the behest of the the witch king King. just arrived from his his uh, keep at minas morgul of course concurrently we obviously know that sam and and frodo were making their way up to shelob's lair Mm -hmm. but anyway let's just talk about lord of the rings for a while man (laughs) <laughs> I'm just talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs>